I make things. I mean, that's my kind of what gives me meaning in my life. Um, and I'd say the things that make me the happiest is when I can go to bed at night and think back at the day and I have something tangible to show for what I did. I guess you could say it's a little bit of a, an obsession. Um, I'm constantly just looking at the world around me and seeing how things are made and kind of deconstructing things I come across in my mind and thinking of ways to make them better. As a person, that's what I need to, to, uh, to keep going. I mean, it just that's what, that's what makes me happy and that's what this allows me to do. Serena, we tend to do a lot of things ourselves here. I think that that's such an important part of the whole process. You learn so much from actually building it that um, that's kind of led us to keep a lot of our a lot of our production in house. That's what is so strong about Serena is that we can design and conceive these pieces in a shared environment where he can execute my vision without compromising any portion of it. I think what makes Cerno unique is we really embrace the modern and contemporary design movement, but we manufacture it 100% here. Since the conception of Cerno, we knew that we wanted to produce lighting, and we saw that the LED light field was just coming online and was in its infancy. The technology of LEDs in the last five years has just grown exponentially. Prior, everyone kind of looked at LEDs as being that blue, ugly hue and not a warm, nice color. In the last few years with the phosphor technology and the RGBW technology, you can really control color temperature. I think it's important to kind of give an example of how our process works and how a piece comes to fruition. And the Kubo is a great example of that. I mean, it was literally, Daniel came into the office one morning and kind of had an epiphany. What came across my mind was it's such a shame for this amazing light, this amazing LED and all this technology to be built into this product that's gonna get used, you know, maybe two hours a day. When a reading light is on when you're reading, when you're not, it's put away. So. The thought was, well, let's make a light fixture that can both be an ambient light and a reading light. And so I basically approached Nick. So we sit right next to one another, and it's a constant back and forth that enables our pieces to be realized without compromise. And uh, that's huge for Sereno. He went and did his magic and came back. This was a Saturday morning. He came back within a couple hours with this concept. And it used some of the parts that we were already using for some of our other products. So we were able to literally, within a couple hours, have our first working prototype. Not only are these objects needing to speak to you and move you and work well, but they need to be built from something. And they need to go through a manufacturing process. They need to fit in a box and go out to the end consumer. And so the marriage of the technical and the abstract is really important in the realization of our products. I think the most important thing to kind of know and paint a little picture of the background of Cerno is to know that long before we were a business, it was three best friends that just enjoyed collaborating and on whatever type of project it would be, building a sailboat or building a palapa down at our favorite beach, a stairwell to memorialize a friend, all of these things play a big part in what Cerno is today, and at the foundation of Cerno is a friendship.